What's up guys, another monster here, anothermonsterproductions.com. Today I want to show you how to make your own personalized custom templates in FL Studio 20. Uh, it's going to be the same in older versions of FL Studio as well. So, but basically this is going to come in handy if you're like me, where you've been using a blank template or some other template, and then you end up always adding the same sort of plugins on your mix bus or your master channel or whatever. Um, so for example, I like to always have span on here uh, and then another plugin that I'll always have is my um, Yulene loudness meter, which measures luffs. So you can load those up, whatever plugins you like to have uh, that you always use, you can put in there. Maybe you like a limiter that you always use or whatever. Um, and then you could also go in here and color code everything if you always maybe you lay out your tracks the same way all the time or you could just leave it blank whatever but basically once you're finished editing everything how you like it uh, then you go in here and you save it and you go to your fl studio 20 wherever that is in your folder and then you click data click templates and you could save it really in anywhere but i saved it in advanced uh, you could do instrumental or electronic and then you could save it as whatever you want to save your template as. Uh, click save, and then you can go ahead and exit out of here. Load it back up. And we have access to our template. So file new from template. Uh, we've saved it in advance. So here it is, tutorial. And then you just click that. And basically every time you load up FL Studio now, it's going to automatically load up your, your template. So I hope you guys found some value out of this video. If you did, go ahead, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions about anything, comment that down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys might have. So one last thing real quick before I get off of here, and that is that on my website now, I do have a download for like 400 plus free drum kit samples. Uh, and it's just an accumulation of samples that I've gathered over the years, some of which I've tweaked, some of which I just threw in the pack. So I'll put a link in the description of this video so you guys can download that for free. Uh, also, I did want to mention I just released this new ebook, which if you're struggling with your mix at all, I definitely suggest getting it. Uh, I list like five simple steps of how to go from being like basically an amateur mix to a professional mix. Uh, it's going to help your productions. It's going to help your mix down. So if you have any interest in getting that, go ahead. I'll put a free link uh, to a free download in the description of this video for that as well. So until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.